Is it light in here enough? I think it is. Hello. Plug you guys in real quick so we don't die. Okay, we're good. Okay, I think we are golden. I don't look too messy. <laughs> So hello to everyone tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Oops, my camera. There we go. Camera got bumped a little bit. Oh my gosh, Melody, I hope you're all right. Great, thank you for tuning in and thank you for the compliment. I hope you get better soon. Hi, Amy. So I just had to run up and down the stairs. <laughs> Between getting this, I had to literally bring all of my stuff up here. Um, I I did a lot of pricing. I did my uh, I did all my videos within a couple of days. Hi Marilyn. Hi Tam. And it was just nice to have a break. It really was. And then I did my uh, my taxes today, so that's good. I went back to the accountant. That's literally right across the street from my neighborhood, so that was nice. I got to do that. Um, thankfully, I only owed like $17. And then I just had to pay the fee for her to file everything. So I hope you all enjoy the, uh, or have enjoyed the videos from this uh, past week. Um, I think it was three hauls and then a uh, the two postcard videos. Uh, some of those postcards I have are for sale tonight. Uh, some of them, I'm not sure what I'll be doing with because there's a lot of miscellaneous. So we'll see what happens. Yesterday, I had a uh, dentist appointment and I was like, you know, where do I want to go? Because I would have normally scheduled it for a Thursday, but for whatever reason, I scheduled it for a Friday, which is normally my sourcing day. Um, so I... What did I do? So I decided to, um, I decided to go up to Winchester, Virginia yesterday. And I went to, how many places did I go to? One, two. I think I went to four places. I went to Apple Jacks Resale. I went to uh, Precious Treasures. Um, I went to Sophia's Thrift Store. And I also went to Main Street Classics. That's probably just because I'm all red. I'm red. I'm out of breath. <laughs> so I did that. Um, I didn't find too much yesterday. Um, the places I went to, I mean, they're flea markets. So you're going to find like your typical flea market junk. And then uh, Main Street Classics is an antique store. So there's, you know, but they're not really picky about what they let in. So I was able to get a few things. Actually, it was hardly anything, but... Um, but yeah, that's how it is. Typically with indoor fleas, sometimes you find really good stuff. Um, so there wasn't really a ton to really look at. So what I may do is, um, on, I may only have two videos this week for that reason. Uh, but of course, I'll try to find some other stuff for the sales. I mean, it's not like I don't have inventory. It's just a matter of Rifling through and figuring out what it is that I want to sell. Um, I did a little bit of listing last week on eBay. I can't remember. Oh, I listed um, some of the depression glass that I found. Um, there's one other thing I needed to list. A uh, link to my eBay store is down below in the description box. So if you guys want to see what's new, you're absolutely welcome to. Um, list, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else I put there. Oh, I put that Mayfair Open Rose biscuit jar on eBay. I sold the, actually, I, I listed the Manhattan uh, salt and pepper shakers, but those were sold. Uh, I haven't listed that Raggedy Ann yet. That needs to go up. Uh, what else do I need? What else is, did I list from last week? 
trying to think of what else I've found that I listed. My phone's not in here. It's in the other room. Um, I'm trying to think of what else was there was. I think the only th uh, thing that I didn't list from last week was that Raggedy Ann. That may have just been it. Hmm. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. Hi, Val. And then on top of that, I, I put that video up or that little short of the, uh, that hen on nest that glowed and I wasn't expecting that to blow up. That, 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 I remember looking at it and it went to like 200 views, which I was like, okay, cool. That's typical of my shorts. And then I did the, or then I checked it again, maybe a few hours later and it went up to like 612. So I'm like, okay, this is, this is interesting. And then I check it because I was getting a bunch of comments on it. Uh, and then I, I looked again and then it was at over like 6,000. I was like, okay, what's going on here? Why is this blowing up, quote unquote? Because I had mentioned the, you know, the $10 and $2 bills and the fact that the hen glowed. And <laughs> some people were um, a little shocked that uh, somebody would put $2 bills inside a hen on nest and that the thrift store didn't check it, which... You know, it's surprising. And then there's some people who were just like downright ignorant about it. I had fun messing with them. I got to be very witty. Some people, I think one person said that my video was staged. Um, and it wasn't. Hi, Mary. I'm sitting on my sweatshirt here. But yeah, I had all, I had a bunch of people, I was getting a bunch of comments from it. I'm like, okay, where are all these comments coming from? And then it was, it was from that short that I put out. And yeah, it was, it was crazy. I didn't expect that. Hi, Donna. So I, I posted a short on YouTube right when I found this um, Vaseline hen on nest. Who made it? I have no idea. Moss or Fenton, I have no idea. So I went up to the shelf at the Goodwill because it had just been from, I think it was last week. And I had, I went up to it because I was like, how is this still here? Like maybe I must have just put it out or whatever. So I, I looked at it and I was like, wow, I can't believe this. And then I opened it up to inspect it and I find $10 and $2 bills. And I, you know, told everyone about it, put it up in a short. Um, it went from maybe like a couple hundred views to 600 views. And then I check it maybe a few days later and it's blown up to over 6,000 views. And I'm like, okay, this is crazy. I can't believe that. And then I kept getting a bunch of comments. Like some people were shocked. Some people were in disbelief that the thrift store didn't check it for the $2 bills, which, you know, is surprising to me. I mean, I don't know many people who carry around $2 bills anymore. So I'm almost assuming that maybe they, they just put it together, priced it, and put it out, and didn't even think to look inside of it. I was I was shocked myself, but I don't know. I mean, my whole thing is it's how I found it, and I was sharing it with you all. And some people just thought it was staged and that it was fake, and I had fun messing with those people because you know, if I can uh, if I can have a moment to uh, savagely roast ignorant people on my channel I will because like you're entering my dog house this is my territory and if you're gonna be nasty like that I will not tolerate it right they are that's it, probably exactly what it is but I also wanted them to know that you know they're welcome to my channel but they're not welcome with their nasty comments and I I, you know, it, they didn't bother me so much because it's not like they were like, um, it, they, they didn't like PO me. Like I wasn't like, like on, in, on fire from it. It was just kind of like, okay, look at all my other videos. They don't, I'm not a clickbaity channel or anything like that. So if one of my videos decides to blow up out of nowhere, it's a shock to me. Oh, thank you, Joanne. Well, welcome aboard. Thanks for being here. Right. It, it's just, it's what happens when you put yourself out there. The people just, 
especially because it hit the algorithm and so many people saw it. That's just what happens. Hi, Robin. So I had, and I was, I mean, I was just as shocked. And like I said, I had fun with, um, with some of the comments too, but, and most trolls usually will not like, they won't really respond to anything. So it's almost, it, it's just like, it's almost, it, I'm, what's the best way to describe it? It's almost like not even, <laughs> some people may say it's not even worth the comment, but also it's like if they're going to continue to watch and they know that I, I'm going to clap back, they're going to get blocked anyway. So, <laughs> but that was the truth. That was not, I mean, I, I kind of played it up a little bit for the video, but what I, what the, you know, finding the $2 bills, I didn't plant those. That was legitimately how I found it in the thrift store. So I kind of like played up the story a little bit when I was filming the short, but it was true. Like it wasn't a staged or like some kind of clickbaity title. I mean, that was the truth. Hi, Linda. Hello to Karen Kay. And I see Sandra Fish is here. Hello, hello. So to kind of get the people's attention when I did the short was to kind of play it up like it really, like I was telling them the story of what had happened. So it's not like what I was saying was fake. It was it was one hundred percent true. But anyway, it was it was just really cool and something that I've never ha experienced before in my life. Hi, Angelia. So that was that was just fun. And you know, I mean, I had a long day out. I didn't really find a whole lot that day either. I mean, I I guess it's just kind of slim pickings right now, because um, you know, spring cleaning is happening. So I guess a lot of people haven't taken their stuff to donations yet. Or, you know, the antique malls are not stocking right now because they're, you know, trying to get stuff from the auctions or wherever it is they're getting stuff so they can bring it in. Or, you know, we have a holiday coming up. So, of course, people were, uh, you know, getting ready for that. But, yeah, it was fun, though, just being able to share that video with you all because it surprised me just as much. And I couldn't believe that that hen on nest was only four bucks and then there was ten dollars inside of it. But yeah, um, be on the lookout for my hauls from Winchester and from, uh... oh, I went to one other place. So, um, and I just found out that they're closing. It's called Salvage Through Time. Uh, there was a, uh, I forget why I was out in the, uh, in the Smithsburg area. I think it was because I wanted to go check out this, um, it was a, there's a shop here that's called Refined and it's like a boutique store by Goodwill. And I wanted to just see what it was about. Small little store, um, good prices on most of their things. Um, it was priced definitely to move. Um, but there wasn't really a whole lot for me there. And I know it's, it's like anything else. You just have to go frequently to find the stuff. Oh, yay, Minnie, I'm so glad. I cannot believe it took so long to get there. That was absurd. But yeah, I'm, uh, and then I, I said, you know, I'm already out here. Why don't I see what else is here? So I checked out this place called uh, Salvage Through Time. And I went into the store, looked around, found a few things. Um, I looked at some of the prices and I was like, mm, you know, this might just be about what it's worth or, you know, it, it might not be um, worth my time to purchase. Um, and then I find out, you know, the store is closing and I was wondering why it looked kind of sparse in there. I thought they were maybe just getting ready for springtime and we're trying to redo the store. But I find out that they were closing up and the whole store was 75% off. So that kind of changed things. And I was, I, 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 I got some cool stuff. <laughs> so what would have cost me almost $200, I only spent about 50 bucks on. So that should be, that'll be a haul. And then I'll share my stuff from Winchester. I want to go back out to the, uh... hey, Apple, how are you? So just a little further down from Winchester, maybe about 15, 20 minutes, uh, there's a town called Strasbourg. And there's an emporium there. Uh, there is a place called the King Street Flea Market. There's a bunch of other shops that are out there, too, that I want to check out. And it's, I mean, Winchester is 40 minutes from where I am. So I'd like to give them a try and see what they have, because... I've been to pretty much all the shops that are here locally. 
fairly recently. So I want to branch out and kind of see what it is that I can find in other parts. Because I like seeing and going to other places I've never been to. Or going out to, uh, like I did for my birthday last year, I went out to, uh, well, I went to Winchester for my birthday last year too, but then I went to Strasbourg. I even went, ventured further out and went into Woodstock and went to a bunch of places there, like the Shenandoah Valley Flea Market. That place was epic. So many places that I'd love to go back to because I just, I did really well. So we are at the 15 minute mark. I'm sure D is probably just finishing up. So I'm sure most of you here are, I can't talk. Most of you who are here pretty much know the drill with live sales. Uh, if there is anybody new here, just make sure you send your name, YouTube name, PayPal email, and shipping address to my email. It's pinned at the very top of the chat. So if you want to check that out or send me your information when you make a claim, please make sure you do so. You can literally just copy and paste it. Um, I ship from Maryland in um, or on the East Coast. So if you live in Texas or California or up in Canada, shipping can be kind of expensive. I do use Pirate Ship to get the best prices possible for both you and I. Um, I do not make any money off of the shipping. I quote you exactly what Pirate Ship quotes me. And I do shipments once a week. So you will see your items out the door by Thursday or Friday, depending on if I get everybody to pay by Thursday, I'll have, or even by Wednesday, I will print the labels out and have the items out the door by Thursday. So that way they're just raring to go and ready to get to you all. So, what I think there might be, oh, please make sure that you go to Pam Blanchard's sale after I do, um, or after me. She's at 8 p.m. Eastern. Katie of Vintage and Vinyl and Soulmate had a jewelry sale after I do, or after Pam, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if she's doing one this week or not. Um... And then Trisha from Sandy and Auto also has her sale at um, 10 p.m. Eastern. Both Katie and Trisha are at 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, I haven't messaged Katie. Or I'll have to message her maybe later tonight after her sale or maybe even tomorrow because uh, we were going to do a industrial sale at the end of this month um next week but she's been having a hard time finding things for the sale so we've kind of put it on the back burner so that way she's able to find some stuff so that may be pushed until next month we're not sure just yet i haven't uh, messaged her to see if she's able or she was able to get anything um this past weekend or maybe even leading up to um next week so we will see what happens with that um, I'm not sure if I'll be doing the sale next week. I haven't decided yet. I probably will because it's, it's Easter Sunday is my shows are on Saturday. Anywho, let's go ahead and dive right into the sale, shall we? Let's just see what I want to start with. Let's do some doggies because... We'll do those, and then I have, I do have some choice items tonight. Let's, let's pull these out. I just don't want to break anything. I kind of piled everything up on my little shelf here. Okay. So I guess the first thing that we will do, and if we finish up early enough, we can, um, I can show a few more things that I've had laying around here for a while. So these are fun. Uh, let me take my tag off of here first. These are um, dime store watch toys. Uh, this is just two of them. Ooh. So clown alert, there is a clown one. Just the thin plastic watches. So I've got this one, I got the clown, I've got the elephant. And I also have what looks to be, it almost looks like, um, Pinocchio. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to see that or not. It was focusing earlier, now it's deciding it doesn't want to. There we go. 
So it's the game where you try to get the balls into the hole here. Probably dime store toys. They are marked made in Hong Kong, at least these two are, is the pink one. Yep, those are marked made in Hong Kong, and these are for choice. So if you happen to be interested in any of the three watches that are dime store toys, uh, they are $3 each, number 27. Hi, Doris. $3 each, number 27, for the dime store toy watches. Oops. So the first three people who put in the number 27 gets their choice of the dime store watches. And there will be a recap at the end for anybody who missed anything. <laughs> so if you guys watched that um, postcard video, um, I did get a whole bunch of the YMCA postcards. So they look like this. There's, there's a bunch of them, actually. I think they're all new old stock, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look. Let me just kind of briefly glance at them. I mean, they all look to be unused. I think they are all new old stock. So I got these postcards really inexpensively. So what I'm going to do is, so this is what they look like again, for those of you who missed it. It's not focused, is it? Put it all the way up to. So if anybody wants one of these YMCA postcards, I'm only asking a dollar for them, for each of them. And if you would like one of the YMCA postcards, dollar each, number eight. One dollar each, number eight for those, if anyone is interested. Thought they'd make like a good craft or something if you wanted to do like an around the world, like maybe your junk journaling or something along those lines. And this YMCA was in Berwick, Pennsylvania. So again, a dollar each, number eight for those, if anyone is interested. Make sure those are up here. Oh, let's do these cute little guys here. So I have these Luster Doggy Salt and Pepper Shakers. I almost want to say they're Collies. This is what they look like. Free of any cracks or chips. It looks like they were a souvenir of somewhere. Um, they do say made in Japan on the bottom. Make sure I don't have an update here. Nope, nothing, we're good. So if anyone would like the salt and pepper shakers, free of any cracks or chips, they do have their original stoppers. But they're very cute nonetheless. Those are $6, number three. $6, number three for the doggy salt and pepper shakers.
All right, Doris, thank you. All right, let me... Doris, I know you emailed me, but I don't think you emailed me your information when you uh, asked me about something. Because you had inquired about a few items before my sale, I think last week or the week before. If you could just send me your information again, I would greatly appreciate it. And thank you for your claim. So I have this little guy here, this little dog. I think he's got a bow or something, or she, depending on, he looks like this. Thanks, Doris. Lots of paint loss on him, but I think he would look great in maybe like an artist's studio or she. I think that's, it's supposed to be a she with the bow. It too was made in Japan. There's no repairs or anything like that. Yeah, very different. I've never seen that before. And he too will be $6. He's number 14. $6, number 14 for the doggy with the bow. here. Okay. Let's do, do a piece of glass here. So this, I believe, was made by Kanaw or Pilgrim. I want to lean more towards Kanaw because of the wave design at the top. It's a small little piece. Let me measure it for you all. I can't get my tape measure out of here. Oh, good Lord, it was right in front of me. So we are looking at well, three and a quarter inches tall. It's a nice amber color. Amber is great for mid-century or if you do boho. And the light kind of helped um, focus it. So you get the idea. Nice, pretty piece of amber glass. Uh, this is going to be $10, number 29. $10, number 29 for the amber. Yeah, like a honey amber, exactly. So $10, number 29 for the honey amber colored glass piece. on vamp i'm not sure i mean i i would have to see how well i would do because that means that's like starting up a whole new following again maybe we'll see what happens it would be worth a try right because i didn't do so well on whatnot Okay, so I also have this. This is super adorable. This is a teddy bear 
uh, Royal Copley Planter. Free of any damage. Super, super cute. It's been a long time since I've gotten my hands on one of these. He is, let's see. He is about five, a little over five and a quarter inches tall. He's super cute. And he is $12, number 18. $12, number 18 for the Royal Copley Teddy Bear Planter. I'll have to look on Vamp and see what's on there. $12, number 18, for the Royal Copley Teddy Bear Planter. I took my tag off, of course. So we got this dog, and I believe this is made of some kind of soapstone or something. I have no idea on the dog breed. Looks like it may have been, it's probably from when it was made. Ooh, I just cracked my finger. Hey, Argle Bargle, how are you? So it looks like when it was made, it uh, a little bit of a split right there. I don't think that that happened from dropping it or anything. I think that may have just been from how it was made. Yeah, I think it might be a German Shepherd. Yay, I'm glad it arrived. So if anyone would like the German Shepherd, I just want to make sure he's not chipped. Oh, it looks like the back of his ear is chipped, but it's stone. Uh, this is also six, number 24. Six dollars, number 24, and as the tag falls off. Again, a small little chip on the back of the ear, and it looks like it may have been, I may have been damaged from manufacturing, but if you wanted to paint over it or something along the lines, you could definitely do so. So six dollars, number 24 for that, if anyone is interested. All right, Val, thank you. Yes, Bonnie, I'm feeling so much better. Thank you. Ugh. I was miserable. I'm not going to lie. I was flat out miserable for the, for the two days that I was, or a few days that I was sick. It was awful. <laughs> and then I have this chalk piece, and I I think this is supposed to be a Scotty dog or Scottish Terrier. He's made of chalk. He's almost like a bluish color with hints of gold. I don't see any damage to him or any repairs. Hi, Vin. Uh, responding to my comment, <laughs> to that comment. Hi, Heidi. So he's cute. And if anyone would like him, he's $10, number 22. $10, number 22 for the, I think it's supposed to be a Scotty dog. Again, ten dollars, number twenty-two. All right, Val, thank you.
Let's, let's do some more postcards here. So these are, uh, these are just USA postcards. Um, so we've got Smithport Country Club and Smithport PA. So you got that one. Uh, we have a Meteor Crater in Arizona. Uh, this is Lake Roosevelt, the Apache Trail in Arizona. Uh, we've got, this is Cody, Wyoming. A little bit rough, but would definitely be cool to have in like a junk journal or anything you'd like. Uh, this one, PA Bruh and Sons, it's the Corner Potomac and Antietam Streets. It looks like we got three Deutsch girls. Uh, this is America's Favorite Place of Pilgrimage. Fry's Lake from the East, Holy Hill in the distance. Uh, this is Pleasure Drive in, in Orlick Park, Racine, Wisconsin. And then we have a scenic background with, and this is from San Francisco. So you're getting, how many postcards is this? One, two, three, four, five. So you're gonna get eight postcards from the US that are US postcards. You're gonna get eight of those for only $5. So that comes to 62 cents a piece. And you can have those five postcards by putting in number 10. $5 for the 10 US or for the eight postcards, number 10. Again, that is 62 cents each. Think of the things you could do, you could craft with them. You could throw them in junk journals. So again, $5 each, number 10, that is 62 cents per postcard. Oh, nobody claimed him. So we've got another doggy figurine. I think this one's really cute. It's Scotty Dogs on their, uh, their hind legs. This one is actually older. This one, it's going to be hard to see, but it says Made in Occupied Japan. Oh, there it goes. There, it's focusing now. So again, I think it is Scotty Dogs on their hind legs. Super, super cute. And if anyone would like these, $5, number 21. $5, number 21 for the Scotty Dogs on their hind legs little figure. So let me make sure I see who I see. And I think it's Bonnie Abrams. We'll wait for Salty Croc to confirm that. All right, Bonnie, thank you. Okay, what else do we, oh, uh, so I do have a choice of different pottery. So let's go ahead and do these, because I love these. So these are all marked USA. I Honestly, I think they're Easter colors. You got the blue and you got the yellow, and then you got this like creamy white with the flowers in it. Thought those were all really, really cool. So again, it is marked USA, at least this one is marked USA. Hope it's backwards. There we go, USA. And then we've got this blue one, also marked USA. And then you've got this, yeah, oops, I gotta take my tag off. Then you've got this yellow one, all urn style, 
also marked USA. Uh, this one does have a little bit of a crack right there, but it's still, it doesn't affect the piece. Like you give it the little flick test and it still sounds like it's fine. Almost like it was glazed over because I can't feel it unless I put my nail to it. But these are great pieces. I think they would look great on a shelf together. So again, it's a choice for either one, either three. Uh, these are $12 each, number 25. So if you are the first three people who put the number 25 in, get their choice of pottery. So $12 each, number 25 for the pottery pieces. You got the yellow urn shape, and you've also got the white with the flowers. And then you've got the blue one, all urn shaped, which I think are very, very cool. So again, $12 each, number 25 for the pottery pieces. Put those back down here. All right, Bonnie wants the blue one. All right, thanks, Bonnie. That means the yellow one and the white one are still available if anybody wants those. So that means white and yellow are still available. I'm gonna take my tag off of the blue one. All right, Doris. Thanks, Doris. And which one would you like, or do you want the last two? Hey, John, how are you? All right, Doris takes the white one. Thank you. So that means the yellow one is still available, $12, number 25. Hope all is well in your neck of the wood, John. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's do my little basket here. This is cute for springtime. I saw this and I was like, I know somebody's going to want it. Look at that. It's a little, um, I think it's supposed to be like a flower pot. There's flowers all around it, kind of like a yeah, flower basket. That is marked Japan on the bottom. Yeah, a little flower basket. It's like at one point something was 59 cents. So that's super, super cute. If anyone wants this, it's $6, number 26. $6, number 26 for the flower basket. Free of any damage that I can see. I thought that was really cute. That'd be good to hold a couple of um, toothpicks. And thanks, Robin. That is yours. Oh, we can do this. Oh, this is really cool. So this is a cigarette holder. It's luster. And I'm just noticing that this is, looks like a manufacturer's error when they made it. On the side of the Perot's head, there is that, like a, I don't think this was done, this was damaged from when, um, like, somebody nicked it or something. I think that's from the actual um, manufacturing of it. So this is a Perot um, cigarette holder. He's playing, I think that's supposed to be like a sitar or something. This would be cool to maybe hold some pens. Like some of the small ballpoint pens you could put in here. Maybe a couple coins. It is made in Japan. It's stamped and it's also pressed into the uh, ceramic. But aside from that issue on the Perot's head, which I think was manufacturer, I don't believe that that was, because it's glazed over, if that makes sense even though you can stick your nail into it. 
Um, this little cigarette holder from the 30s, I want to say, is $15, and it's number 17. $15, number 17, for the Perot Luster cigarette holder and ashtray. $15, number 17, for the Perot ashtray. All right, thanks, Robin. Well, I gotta make sure I show that bank and that other piece of glass that I'm gonna take out of here. Just be really careful here. Okay. Hi, D. How are you? Hope your sale went well. So I do have some cherry chalkware that I'd like to offer you all today. Oh, have a good night, Argle Bargle. Hope you feel better. So here's what they look like. They look to be in pretty good condition. I want to note this um, on the back of the one. It is not broken or repaired. I think this is just how it was made. Hey, Steve, how are you? See that mark right there? That is not a repair. Let's see what I'm talking about right here where my finger is. It's not a repair. I think it was just, uh, I'm not sure what it is, but it does not go through all the way. I think it may have just been, I don't know how to describe it. But that is not a repair. It is still in good shape. And even the little metal holders are still there, although I wouldn't really recommend using them because they're not, I would definitely put something else on the back of them. The colors are still really nice and vibrant on them. You're gonna have a little bit of nicking like on this one here, like you can see that small little nick right there. But these I think are from the 30s or 40s. So you gotta expect a little bit of damage, but for the condition they're in, it's pretty good. And for the set of cherry chalkware, uh, it is $10 for both. So $10 for both of the cherry chalkware pieces, number seven. $10, number seven. Yeah, cherry de decor. Perfect for the 30s and 40s. So $10 for the set, number seven. $10, number seven for the cherry chalkware. And again, they're in really good condition. So again, 10 for the set, number seven. Yeah, they're fun. There's some really cool pieces of chalkware out there. And these are great, again, in 40s kitchens. I think 30s and 40s kitchens were pot. The cherry was very popular. Oh, I do have another piece of, um, I do have another piece of Pilgrim glass that I was able to acquire. Uh, of course, this one I got much cheaper than the other one, so I can ask a little bit less for it. Let me just take my tag off of it. Do people decorate with cranberry glass for Easter, or is that more of a Christmas thing? But I do believe that this was made by Pilgrim. It's got an optic look to it. Put my little flashlight on it. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Look at that. <sighs> that stupid receipt spike giving me a friggin' heart attack. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay. <laughs> but you guys get the idea. Beautiful piece of pilgrim glass. So if anybody would like this piece of Pilgrim glass, it is $14 and it's number 20. $14, number 20 for the cranberry glass. I, like I said, I believe that this was made by Pilgrim. $14, number 20. 
and it measures, let's see here, it measures about five and a half inches tall. So $14, number 20, for the Pilgrim Glass piece. Um, oh, we've got that. So I have four um, foreign religious cards. I think these are in either French. I want to say they're in French. Or maybe it's Spanish. I don't know. So we've got the crosses, the three crosses. Um, it looks like we've got, you know, I'm, I'm really not sure. I'm not really well educated on certain things. We got that one. I wonder if these are maybe scriptures from the Bible in a different language. I'm really not sure. So we've got, we've got the four of those. And for anybody who's interested in those, uh, it's just going to be $4 for the four of them. So a dollar a piece. Number 16, the Stations of the Cross. Okay, thank you, Virginia. So $4, number 16. So... Just basically a dollar each. And Kara, thank you and welcome aboard. Okay. Well, running on the theme of postcards here, I do have some European ones. So like I said, when I was going through all of those postcards, I tried to bunch them up by category. So I tried to do Europe, US, holiday, things like that. So we're going to go through these really quickly. Uh, this is, I'm just going to read what it says. Thunersee und Niesen. So this is in Switzerland because that's where Zurich is, right? Zurich, Switzerland. Thank you, Kara. I'm glad you like them. Uh, this is in Stockholm, Sweden. I think the only thing I know how to say in Norwegian and I heard it from Hannah Montana, was Tatseya for Como. I don't know what that means in Norwegian, but. And that is Chateau de Chilon. I'm sure I'm probably butchering that. This is the Royal Opera House that's also in Stockholm. Uh, we have Paris, so this is uh, in France. We've got the, I'm really, I know I'm not pronouncing these correctly. Decrain Le Brisa. I assume this is probably in Switzerland too. So this looks like a nice scenic background. I like that, that's, that's really nice in black and white. This one is in Moudon, Tour Romaine, It's Laborg. Um, maybe in Germany? I'm not, I'm really not sure. Maybe these are all from Sweden and Norway and Germany. I'm, I'm really not 100% positive on that. Uh, this one, of course, has seen better days. Uh, this is in Stockholm from 1962. That's what the postmark says. Looks like some seaport or something, maybe with the opera house. This one says Belgium. Hi, Amy. How are you? So I'm showing all of these postcards. This is going to be one lot of them. So this one's in Belgium. Uh, 
Uh, Fisherman's Children and Island Market. This is in Holland. Sorry if it's not focusing. Um, I want to say that this is maybe in Switzerland too. We've got two buildings. Um, it says Deutsches Reich. So maybe in Germany. Uh, Dutch fishing boats near Schwenigen. I'm sure I'm butchering that. Schwenigen. It's probably Schwenigen, Holland. Uh, we've got the Cathedral of Cologne and Pontoon Bridge over the Rhine in Germany. Uh, the village of Interlaken, Switzerland. Uh, general view of Bergen, Norway. We've got a Dutch windmill that's in Rotterdam, Holland. We've got the Kremlin in Moscow, Russia. So maybe some of these are Russian as well that I'm clearly butchering. We've got, oh, that's another one of the village of Interlach in Sweden. Some of them have been used, Wendy. Some of them have not. Um, let me see. The one that has been used looks like it was written in, but it hasn't got any date or anything on it. Oh, this is another one of the Bergen in Norway. Uh, we've got a panoramic view of Antwerp, Belgium, unused. I probably should have been saying that. I think that's another one of the views of Germany. Oh, no problem. I appreciate you asking because sometimes I forget to show that. So here's another one of um, the windmill in Rotterdam, Holland. Uh, some of them are postmarked, like this one. But so that is, let's see, there are 23 European postcards. So you're going to get 23 European postcards, and it's going to be $15. So that equals 65 cents a piece, and it's number 19. $15, number 19 for the European postcards, number 19, and that's 65 cents each. All right, I do see some claims, so thank you, everyone. Um, let me just make sure I see who I got. All right, Doris, thank you. Um, do I have any other postcards? I don't believe so. Um, oh, maybe I do. Oh, no. So I do know that people like to collect wall pockets, and I did find this really nice one uh, when I was at one of my local antique malls here. And let me go ahead and take my tag off. So this is what it looks like. So it looks like we have a pagoda on an island. Oh, thank you. So we got a pagoda on an island. It is marked made in Japan. I know that that's, that looks like sticker residue. I'm sure that'll come off. Uh, whoever wins this, if you want me to take that off, I'd be more than happy to do so. So like I said, this has been at this antique mall for a while. I've wanted to buy it. Um, I, I went there the last time. I forgot to grab it. But it's almost like a cone shape. And I know that people like to decorate um, different walls with sir, because there were many wall pockets made back in the day. So there's always a different variety of them. And I thought this one was really cool. And there's no cracks or chips. Let me go ahead and measure it for you all so you get an idea. So it measures about six inches tall and is, let's see, going from here to the other end. It's about, about six inches wide as well. I like the cone shape of it. And this also is $15. It's number 23. Oh, and I forgot to mention that you can hang it on the wall. That's a hole for you to hang it. So it's $15, number 23 for the wall pockets. And Bonnie, I see you for that. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, let's, let's do this little guy before I forget. All 
So I do have another one of those animal on chain. So this is a, um, Scottish Terrier chain animal. And it looks like there's only one little pup with this. Free of any damage. I don't see any cracks or chips or any kind of repairs done to this at all. Oh, well, there's one chip. No, that's manufacturer flaw. Super, super cute. If anyone is interested in the Scottish Terrier with the I know, isn't it? With the pup, it's fourteen dollars, number fifteen. Fourteen dollars, number fifteen for the Scotty dog with the pup chain animal. Super cute. Fourteen dollars, number fifteen, and Melody, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. This I think would be so cute for springtime. So let me go ahead and take my tag off of it real quick. So this is a Lucite. Oh, I'm glad you were able to get it, Bonnie. So this is one of those tall, lucite, um, bonneted girl, uh, it's either a napkin ring or, napkin, not a napkin ring, napkin holder or for letters. No damage. Um, I don't think that it, you know what? My black light's in the other room. I don't think it glowed when I put a black light to it. Yeah, isn't it cute? Um, she measures, let's see, we'll measure her from the tip all the way to the end. So she's about eight inches tall. Good size. And I think she was probably made in the late 60s, possibly early 70s. She is fantastic. It looks like there's some gravel and dried up flowers right here. And if anyone is interested in her, she is $18 number one. $18, number one for the Lucite napkin holder. It is Melody, if you would like it. Uh, that was number 18, if you want that. So $12, number 18 for the um, Copley planter. All right, it is yours. Thanks, Melody. So the Lucite napkin holder is $18, number one, for the um, girl in the bonnet napkin holder. So $18, number one for that. Oh, let's not forget about that. Um, let me go ahead and show this. Um, I got to get it out of the box because the way it was put in here, it has a little holder. So I got to be really careful with how I take it out of here. Unfortunately, when I bought it, I did not, I opened it to do the haul video and I didn't realize that one of the shakers is unfortunately missing, but I still don't think that takes away from the really cool mid-century look of it. And I, I think honestly, the two terrines that are in here, I guess we can call them a terrine. The condiment holders look great even without the shakers on it. So here's what it looks like. It's chartreuse and gray. Like I said, unfortunately, it only came with one stopper, or stopper, shaker. But honestly, I think it would look good even without it. Here is the... Um, thing that was holding it in place in the box. So again, chartreuse and gray. Uh, this looks like it was for cream. And these look unused. Like I don't think these were ever even taken out of the box, to be honest with you. 
So this one is probably for sugar because it's got the little spoon, chartreuse spoon. They each have a handle, which is cool. But I love that. Uh, this was made, who was it made by? So this was made by Federal, it's Federal Hostessware made of Styron, a Dow plastic. So it's Federal Hostessware, chartreuse. I love that it even has the original box. The box itself is really cool. Bit of water damage and the holder that was holding this in place is still there. Um, where is my tag? I think I'm gonna pull that off of there really carefully. Actually, I think I'm gonna put it right here. Damn, mm. itching my nose, guys, I'm sorry. So if anyone is interested in the Hostess set that was made by Federal Wear, I'm sorry, Federal, made by the Federal Tool Corporation, Federal Hostess Wear. Uh, again, unfortunately, the pepper shaker is missing, but I think honestly, this little set looks good without the shaker on it. So this is going to be $15 and it's number nine. $15, number nine for the mid-century hostess set. Again, love that chartreuse and gray combo. $15, number nine for the hostess wear set with the box. Again, unfortunately, the shaker, the pepper shaker is missing, but if you were to take that off of here, you have a really cool mid-century set. I was too afraid to stick this on the box for fear that it would destroy it or hurt the box. So I'm gonna go ahead, actually I'm gonna leave the tag off of it. So that way I remember. I'm gonna put this back in here so it doesn't do what I almost just did right then and there. <laughs> We're not even, I'm not going to toy with this right now because it's going to take up more time than I think it should. All right. So we're going to move right along. Tags right there. Hopefully, I'm, you know what I'm going to do just so I don't forget because I know ADD will get the better of me. Stick it right on top of there. Okay. So, oh, let's see if anybody's interested in this. Has anyone out there been looking for a Galileo thermometer? What's this? Oh, well, I can pitch that thing that I already sold. So I do have one. I was able to acquire it. Oh, hopefully nobody saw the tag. So this one was made in Germany. There's the German mark. These are very, very cool pieces. I think they're awesome in decor. I'm guessing it was maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure how to read these. But they are very, very cool to have as decor pieces. Yeah, aren't they cool? Free of any damage. Again, this is this one was made in Germany. If you are interested in the Galileo thermometer, it's $18 and it's number two. $18, number two, and I probably should have measured it. Yeah, they're cool pieces. All right, Kara, thank you. So this is about 13 inches tall. So Kara got herself a really cool thermometer. All right. I do have, well, actually, you know what? I showed those already. So are there any poodle lovers here today? Because I have a couple of poodles. Isn't it cool? I love those things. Is 
And these do have fur on them. So these are for choice. This one is adorable. Uh, marked Japan on the bottom. This one, that one's on hind legs. This one is on all fours. Look at her. Again, she's got all kinds of fur. I, trust me, Apple, I am a big multitasker. Some days it works, some days it doesn't for me. But these are super, super cute and super kitschy. And for the set, or actually, I'm sorry, it's not for the set, it's for choice. Uh, there is some crazing, but there are no repairs anywhere that I can see. Some of the fur may be missing on some of them, but you got to expect that with older pieces. Um, these are $18 each. They are number 30. So the first two people who put the number 30 get a poodle or get their pick. So $18, number 30 for the poodle figurines. All right, and Vivian, thank you. And I assume you want both poodles? Hey, KP, how are you? All right, so I take, that's, oh, okay, yeah. Which one were you going for? Were you going for the one that was on all four legs or the one that was on its hind legs? This one's got more of like a surprised, happy face. This one looks just kind of. So which one were you interested in? So do you want to say the fur is shedding on these because you know they're older. So you can just let me know which one that you want. Hmm. Make sure I show this again. Put this in the sold. Oh, you would like the one with the hind legs. Okay, hind legs one is yours. A little bit of crazing, but that's okay. So that means this one is still available. Congrats and thank you very much. So that means this one on all fours is still available for $18 and it's number 30 if anybody would like it. Okay. Oh, you know, this, I totally forgot to, uh, Oy. I found this when I was in, um, when I went to Shippensburg, PA. We got you, Viv, for the hind legs. Thank you very much. Hind leg one is yours. I didn't share this in the haul video because by the time I finished it, I was just like, I need to get these upstairs and uploaded so I'm ready for the uh, for the day here. But this, I couldn't believe, and I know that you all really like this stuff, so anytime I can find it, I will pick it up if it's reasonably priced. So this is a piece of RS Germany. Look at that. I don't know what kind of flower that is. It almost looks like a rose. But it's a bowl, like a. So it doesn't have any cracks in it.
Isn't it pretty? And it is marked on the back. I don't know if it's going to show up, but it does say RS Germany. I do want to note that on this side, there is a small, small little nick right there. And I think it's on both sides. Nope, it's just on that one side. But it's a stunner, you guys. I mean, this is not my taste, but I know you all really like this stuff. So anytime I can find it really inexpensively, I will pick this up. And I did. And it's beautiful, you guys. I mean, just want to make sure I'm not sh make sure there's no damage or anything else aside from that one little minor chip. And I don't believe that there is. So I'm going to measure it. So across, it is about nine and three quarter inches from the handles. And then from the side to side, it's about close to eight and three quarter inches as well. And it is a, I would say about three and a half inches tall. Wouldn't it, Wendy? Absolutely. So it's a stunner. And let me see if I can get the mark to show for you guys because it may not show up real well. There it goes somewhat, RS Germany. It is there, I promise you. And if anybody is interested in the RS Germany bowl here, it is $20 and it's number 28. $20, number 28 for the RS German bowl. All right, and it looks like it's going to live with D, the thrill of the thrift. Thank you, D. Okay, um, so we're going to leave you right there. Thank you, D. That's, that definitely screams D right there. So this piece, I think, would also be great for springtime as well as, um, oh, I forgot I stuck this right over the tag from, from the other. Look at this. I believe that this is Norleans, Japan. It is frosted, and we've got a floral garland going all around it. It's a stunner, you guys. So let me go ahead. Oh, we got you for that. Thanks, Bonnie. That's sweet. So it's about six by six. And it is close to about six and a half inches tall. A little candy compote. Yeah, isn't that very pretty and elegant? I think it was made by Norleans. I think, let me put this, because this might be cool with a candle. Let me shine a light in here. Look at, oh my gosh. Look at that. Put a little light in there. You know what? Let me get my little, uh, let me get my little uh, puck light here. That might be a little bit easier. Let's see if that shows up much better. You ready? Well, it kind of does. Look how pretty that is with a little light in there. It's beautiful. No cracks, no chips. Uh, there is a little bit of gold wear to the rim of this, but other than that, it is a beautiful piece. And if anyone is interested, oh, I probably should show this. This comes off. I just didn't get a chance to remove it. So there is some sticker residue right where my finger is, but that'll come off with a little bit of a wiping. And if anyone would like the Norleans floral garland, like I said, I think it is Norleans. I could be very wrong about that. Um, this piece is $18. It's number 13. $18, number 13 for the Norleans floral garland compote. 
You got that right, Tam. And Minnie, I see you for that. Thanks, Minnie. You got yourself a lovely piece of glass coming your way. Be great for Easter. Now, I do have some modern Easter pieces that I, I've been saving for Easter because I bought them ages ago. Is anybody here familiar with the brand Joanna Parker? Um, I did have find a couple pieces at the Goodwill, I think probably last summer. There was a whole bunch of Ray Dunn and um, the uh, uh, Joanna Parker stuff. This I thought would be super cute for Easter time. Throw some jelly beans or chocolate eggs in here. It's just one of their Easter bowls. Uh, I've got the Easter bunny head. I think this was part of their carnival line. Yes, this is called Carnival College by Joanna Parker and Magenta. I have a few pieces of hers. Um, I have some moon teapots, which are really cool looking. Now, I do want to note, it, it looks like there's damage right here, but there isn't. That's just how it was manufactured, right where the uh, head of the bunny meets. But it's super cute. So there it says Carnival Cottage by Joanna Parker and Magenta. I priced this, didn't I? I thought I did. Well, we'll just do this one then. I know I priced it. It must have fallen off, but anywho, you get the idea. Very, very cute. Think of all the jelly beans and chocolate eggs you could fill that up with. And if you are interested in the Joanna Parker Bunny Rabbit um, bowl, uh, it's $15, number 12. $15, number 12 for the Joanna Parker Bunny Bowl. Super cute. And Robin, thank you. I'm happy that's getting a new home. So running with the Joanna Parker theme here, I also, on that same day, remember getting this beauty. So this is also Joanna Parker. It is the egg creamer and the chick sugar, no, I'm sorry, egg sugar bowl and the chick creamer in the original box. Hey, Cat Law, how are you? Isn't that cool? So you got the creamer and you've also got the sugar bowl. Very, very cute in the original box. I think at one point someone may have taken it out to look at it and that's why the egg is the way it is. Um, of course, I'm gonna make sure that they are in there securely and we'll get to you in one piece. In the original box, I thought this was cute as can be, great for Easter. <laughs> I'm sorry, Apple. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, that's cute. So the Joanna Parker um, Easter set is $20. It's number 40. $20, number 40 for the chick, egg, and chick, chicken, egg, Creamer and sugar sets. $20, number 40 for the set in the original box. Super, super cute. <laughs> well, it's my job to tempt you, Kat. I'm sorry if it's if it's making it difficult for you, but my job is to tempt you all. <laughs> um Did I show? Oh, no, I didn't show everything. So I did, this is something that I've had for a while. Well, last couple months. I have a metal bank here. It's in a, I don't know what the building is supposed to be. I just thought it was really, really neat. Uh, I believe that this was made in 1974. There's a coin rattling around in here. Yeah, it says 1974 
Banthrico. I could take the, uh, yeah, a bank building. I could technically take the key or take the screws out of here and see what kind of coins in here. But I thought this metal building bank was really cool. And it's heavy duty, so if, if you like good metal, you know it very well could be a national law bank. I didn't think about that, especially old school. If you're interested in the bank, uh, it is $15. It's number six. $15, number six, for the 1974 metal Maybe it is a national bank building. Who knows? I just got to be careful. I don't drop it on all this fragile stuff. So $15, number six for the 1974 bank building bank. They don't give away stuff like this anymore, folks. Now it's all keychains and pencils. And not that that's a bad thing because you can always use that stuff, but. Okay. I almost want to say I think that's everything. But uh, I could show a few other things, and then I can just do a quick recap, because usually the recap takes me a uh, half hour. So if some I show you all something, and it is something that I have... Uh, if I had it priced from a sale before uh, and the number may be the same as something else, don't worry about it. We write it down. So I did um, find a bunch of frogs that one day I went up to the Hancock Antique Mall and I found this little guy. He's playing an accordion. I think he is just absolutely great. And he is made in Japan. So we'll go up to about 7.45, and then we'll go ahead and do a recap real quick, and then we can head on over to Pam's sale. So he is free of any damage, and he is just happy as a lark playing his uh, accordion. And he is $12. He's number 19. $12, number 19 for the froggy. $12, number 19, for the froggy figurine playing the, oh, God, that's really bad. I don't remember the name of that instrument. Accordion. <laughs> froggy playing the accordion. I also have this um, little Dimitas Ardalt cup. Um, let me take off my tag. So that's what it looks like right there. It says Ardalt Japan, 6396. The little cup has birds on it, which I thought was really interesting. Very minimal wear and tear. I just thought that was really fun. Somebody might like that if they collect the little Dimitas cups. This is $10 and it's number two. $10, number two, for the Ardalt Dimitas cup with the birds on it. Great for like a little um, display. $10, number two, for the Dimitas cup. Oh, these didn't sell to me. Okay. I almost want to say that was everything. I could be wrong. No, I think it was everything. Um, oh, I could show these again. Someone might want these for spring. So these are, they're made to look like the early 1900s coffee grinders, salt and peppers.
do want to note, I think there's one small little nick, and I think I just showed it, and I don't remember which one it's on. Oh, right here. Is that a nick, or maybe it's just a color defect? It's that little brown spot right on the corner. But it doesn't affect the piece at all. They both have stoppers. I think they're really cute. And if anyone would like the um, old school coffee grinder, salt and pepper shakers, no damage other than that one small little spot. And maybe one little spot there too. I just don't want anyone to be surprised. Uh, this is going to be $12, number 13 for the set. $12, number 13 for the coffee grinder, salt and pepper shakers. Okay. I guess I can show this real quick if anyone might be interested in this piece. Uh, this is, I have no idea who made it. It could be a Nesco. Oh, it is a Nesco. Oh, gosh. So it says a Nesco right on the bottom there, foil sticker. It's just a red flute. I would say it's probably a, a bud vase. Love that shade of red. I don't believe that this glows into the black light. Thank you for joining, Bonnie. I appreciate you being here and everyone being here tonight. So this measures eight inches tall. I think gray with a little bit of, or a few flowers in there. And if you would like this piece, oh, oh yeah, there was this manufacturer flaw right here. Not a cracker chip, but when they made it, it was, it looks like the edge was a little bit off when the, in the making process. Right here. And this piece is $10, it's number four. $10, number four, for the red Inesco face. I mean, you could drink out of it, too, I'm sure. Throw some champagne in there, or maybe a little... I don't know. <laughs> um... Oh, I had her. I think I had her in a sale a while ago. So I'm not sure if anyone would be interested in her. This is a Shafford Japan. Um, looks like a... It almost looks like a California ceramics girl. But it's a Japanese import. She's wearing a blue dress. There's no damage to her in terms of, um, like, repairs or anything. But I love her colors. I think she's great. Here is her Shafford Japan sticker right there. Just make sure I'm not seeing any damage because I feel like I feel bad when there's damage and I don't see it. Oh, there's one small little nick on the frying pan right there, but that you could touch up with gray paint. And she measures, let's see. Oh, there's one little small nick on the back of her head, too, which normal, I guess, with some things. Yeah, isn't she pretty? So there's a little bit of spot of paint missing on the back of her head. It's part of her dress. Other than that, she's in good shape. A um, little bit, of, oh, I probably should mention a little bit of chipping on the back of her bow. But again, these are minor, minor cosmetic issues. It doesn't affect the beauty of her. She is $16 and she's number 50 if anybody is interested in her. $16, number 50 if anybody is interested in the Shafford Japan um, 
Looks like she's serving up breakfast or something. So $16, number 50, if anyone is interested in her. All righty, so let me go ahead um, and do a quick recap of things that didn't sell tonight. Oh, you know what? Let me show this, see if anybody wants this for Easter. Just in case anybody wants them or wants it. So this is a giant pitcher, not giant, but like a creamer pitcher kind of a thing. Uh, definitely looks like an Easter egg. That's what originally attracted me to it. A little bit of wear and tear to it with age. Um, it was made in Czechoslovakia. If you have any cracks, uh, there's some minor chips on the rim of the spout there. It's about four and a half inches tall. Again, I thought this would be great on an Easter table. There is the made in Czechoslovakia mark. It doesn't that totally look like an Easter egg. And oh, here it is. If you're interested in this piece, it's $10, number 24. $10, number 24 for the, let me show you where the bit of damage is. It's right there. I don't know if it's going to show up. Right there. But again, $10, number 24 for the spouted pitcher, creamer, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and stop that there and then we'll go over the stuff that didn't sell that I didn't just show. So at the beginning of the show, I did share some of these dime store watch toys. So we've got an elephant and it looks like, um, well, it doesn't look like, you're supposed to uh, try to get the little balls in the hole there. Um, we've got a clown, clown alert. And then we've got, it looks like, it almost looks like Pinocchio as a boy. So these are going to be $3 each. They're number 27. $3 each, number 27, for the Dime Store Toy watches. And again, it is for choice. So $3 a piece, number 27 for those, if anyone is interested. Right. Just a little bit like Bozo. I think my favorite little Bozo toy that I have is from 1962, I want to say. And it's just the toy. It was made by Mattel. And uh, you pull the string and he, he's supposed to talk. But when I found him, uh, he no longer talked. And he still doesn't talk now. Um, and I think I got him for like five bucks at uh, the Westminster Antique Mall, which, rest in peace, is no longer there. I do have that Honey Amber, um, either Kanaw or Pilgrim Glass, um, little, call it a vase, I guess you could say. Uh, this is $10, number 29. $10, number 29 for the Kanaw. Kanaw, yeah, Kanaw or Pilgrim Glass um, Honey Amber pit, uh, not Pitcher Face. $10, number 29. I should have said recap. That's what we're doing now. Right. Let's hope he doesn't talk, but you know, Toy Story. <laughs> Um, I do have this little doggy here. It looks like he's uh, he's lost some paint or she, but still deserving of a good home. 
he would definitely look good with shabby chic or anybody who likes rustic kind of things. I think he would definitely be appreciated. You could prop him up on some old books. Like if you have a stack of old books and you want just a little tchotchke, he would be great with that. And he is $6. He's number 14. $6, number 14 for the... For the adorable doggy figurine. He almost looks like a, I'm trying to think of what kind of dog breed he is. Look, not a great, well, maybe a great Dane. Again, $6, number 14 for the doggy figurine. Kara, thank you. Oh, yes. Of the three pottery pieces that I have left, I have the yellow one. Uh, that is $12, number 25. I do want to note there is a um, small little crack that looks like it was done internally. And I can feel it with my fingernail on the inside, but it still displays nicely. It's on the inside. You won't really even see it. $12, number 25, for the yellow urn-shaped pottery pitcher. And again, it is marked USA. Um, oh, I have the uh, chartreuse. Um, federal wear set with the original box totally mid-century unfortunately the pepper shaker is missing and one just decided to fall off but I think it looks great even just with the um, the creamer and the sugar bowl with the handles probably should show that to you all there we go, that looks better, don't you think? And again, this is federal wear, plastic, almost like melamine or melamine, however you wanna pronounce it. Uh, this set is $15, it's number nine. $15, number nine for the federal wear uh, gift set. The chartreuse and the gray is fantastic. It's in the original box. Like I said, unfortunately, the pepper shaker is missing. I did not realize that until after I bought it. Who knows, maybe the shop still has it. Maybe they will. Okay. So we'll leave that out. I have the cherry chalkware pieces. Both appear to be in pretty good condition. Minor, minor paint loss and such. This is not damage, it's not a repair. I think it was just from how it was made because it's perfectly fine on the other side. Uh, the set of cherries is $10, number seven. $10, number seven, for the 1930s or 40s cherry chalkware pieces. I do not see a maker's mark on them. Sometimes I'll see Miller Studios, and I'm out of focus. But I don't see that in this case. So again, $10 for the set of two cherry chalkware pieces, number seven. Let me show you all the back so you guys can see it. So there we go, $10, number seven. That is not a repair, that's just from when it was made. You don't see that on the front of the leaf, which is right here. They are still in perfectly good condition. Only thing I recommend is getting new hangers for the back because the wires don't appear to be very, uh, very sturdy anymore. So again, $10 each number, I'm sorry, set number seven. I also have the USA postcards. We won't go over them real quick, but you are going to get, let's see, two, three, four, 
So you're going to get eight postcards. Um, you guys saw what they were. Uh, you'll get eight of those postcards for $5. Number 10, uh, that is uh, 62 cents each. So $5 for the set of USA postcards. Number 10, there are eight of them in there. So that's 62 cents each postcard. Again, $5, number 10 for the eight US postcards. I have the girl in bonnet napkin holder, probably from the late 60s or early 70s, in really good condition, no damage. Oh, number 10. Wendy takes those. Thanks, Wendy. She's in good condition, no cracks or chips. And it's about seven and three quarter inches tall. Uh, this is $18 and it's number one. $18, number one for the Lucite Girl in Bonnet. Um, napkin holder slash letter holder. Again, $18, number one for that if anyone is interested. And for those watching the replay, um, if you are interested in something, you can email me. Or if you were in the show today and you want to uh, make a claim for something that didn't sell, you can um, let me know in your email. Um, I also have some YMCA postcards. And these are, uh, it came, there was a whole bunch of them that came with the, uh, the lot of postcards that I bought. Um, and these are $1 each. They're number eight, if anybody is interested in those. Uh, $1 each for the YMCA postcard. It's just for one, number eight. So $1 each on those, number eight, if anyone's interested. I also have one of the poodles left. This one is, you want one of the, um, all right, Wendy, it's yours. Thank you. Do you get one of those? So I still have this darling poodle left. Made in Japan. Some of the hair is coming off of it. Again, that's just from with age. Free of any cracks or chips or anything like that. Just again, the hair is kind of shedding on her. <laughs> it's worse than rabbit hair. And she is $18 and she's number 30, right? She needs some pearls. $18, number 30 for the flocked poodle. She's very, very cute. $18, number 30. All right. Um, oh, I do have the Cranberry Pilgrim piece that is $14, number 20. $14, number 20 for the Pilgrim Glass. Um, I don't know what you would call this. Right, she needs some Aquanet. That way she doesn't shed any more hair. $14, number 20 for this Pilgrim Glass piece. Free of any cracks or chips, it's got a really nice optic look to it. We still have our KP, and I was hope or thinking maybe I can share her with you all next week because it's been a while since you've seen her. Ooh, the hair is getting to my nose. So um, maybe since next week is the Saturday before Easter, I'll have her for a little bit. Um. Oh, 
I have the uh, the Joanna Parker Chick and Egg Sugar and Creamer set for twenty dollars. Number forty, if anyone is interested in that. Twenty dollars, number forty, for the Joanna Parker set in the original box. Oh, of course. I'll see if I can uh, bring her on because you guys, it has been a minute since y'all have seen her. So again, $20, number 40 for the Joanna Parker cream. Oh, KP wants the cranberry base. Thanks, KP. It is yours. Okay, so that'll be it for that. Just want to make sure I'm uh. Oh, uh, we've got the 1974. Yep, it's 14 bucks, KP. You got it. Uh, I do have the 1974 um, bank, building bank. Looks like there's a, maybe a coin or something in there. Uh, $15, number six. Thank you. $15, number six for the 1974 um heavy metal eh, heavy metal rock on baby um bank bank number six bank building bank fifteen dollars number six and i think that was everything oh i did show her the Shafford lady. Uh, she has a couple of minor nicks here or there, but no repaired heads or, or broken off arms and re-glued. Don't think. Nope. Uh, I did have her for $16, number 50. $16, number 50, if anyone is interested in her. Um, I think that was everything i'm trying to think i want to make sure i didn't miss anything i don't believe i did i think i covered everything oh i don't know if i shared these again the are you talking about the pilgrim Piece KP it measures. It's one of the smaller ones. Um, it measures about five and a half inches tall. Five and a half inches. Okay. Alrighty. So I think I shared everything. Oh, well, Froggy, if anybody wants the frog playing the accordion, $12, number 19. That's all right. I'm glad you uh, came back for it. $12, number 19 for the Froggy playing the accordion. And then I also had this Inesco, um red bud vase for $10, number four, if anybody would like that. Ten dollars, number four for the red vase. If anyone is interested in that, excuse me. Okay, I think that was everything. I am. I'm almost certain I got everything. Think, I think, I think. All righty. So I think we will end it here. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Um, be on the lookout for some haul videos uh, this upcoming week. Um, I'm probably going to go munch on some more food, and then I'll probably go downstairs and pack you all's orders up and get them invoiced. I uh, got a busy day tomorrow, so I want to make sure that everything is taken care of that needs to be taken care of. That way I can enjoy my Sunday. 
So again, thank you all so much for being here, making claims, just shooting the breeze with everyone in the chat. As always, I greatly appreciate it and welcome it a lot. And uh, again, be on the lookout for videos this upcoming week. And uh, make sure you go to Pam right after me. She starts in about two minutes. And then, of course, Katie and Nate, and then Trisha, Sandy, and Otto. If you're not subscribed to any of them, please make sure you do so. Their links are down below in the description box. And I will see you all very, very soon. Y'all have a great night, and thank you again for being here.